This video is brought to you by Keeps.com. Stay tuned to find out more. Corday is the epitome of having all the skills necessary, having all, all the cosigns necessary, but not having the story that the people buy into. Let me just give you an example. Kendrick is great, but that Good Kid Mad City album, it laid the foundation for why people will always be connected to Kendrick. That's what I believe is still missing from Corday's story. Why being Corday, he reminds me of J. Cole, mm. which is you're a great rapper and he has a great ear for beats. But I didn't walk away being like, damn, I need to rush back and see what else I'm gonna do. Mm. The whole time I'm just like, all right, that was cool. Mm. Okay, that's cool too. Mm. All right, that's cool. <laughs> but by the end of it, I was like, okay, I know what his lane is mm -hmm. and I'm not sure if he's ever gonna leave that lane or make that lane any better than it already is. Perhaps more so than any other genre, hip hop has been notoriously wary of a squeaky clean image. While that doesn't mean you can't be conscious or expose wisdom, the rap game has an intense wariness for those who come off as though they know better, whether it be pretentiousness, preachy, or worst of all, corny, i.e. Chance the Rapper, Logic, Dex, and Hobson. But if any rapper seems to be flying too close to the sun in this regard, it's Corday. As a 24-year-old rapper with three gold singles, a top 20 debut album, his own recently unveiled record label, a superstar sports person girlfriend, and an undeniable lyrical acumen to his name, the young MC for Maryland has plenty of things going for him. With that being said, one thing that he doesn't necessarily have is the resounding support of hip-hop. In the year and a half since his debut album, The Lost Boy Arrived, the discourse around Corday has ranged from those who are bowled over by his ability to appear wise beyond his years, to others who feel as though he's towing a dangerous line. Described as everything from a J. Cole clone and the next logic to preachy, corny, and straight mid, hip-hop forums have made their distrust for what Corday is peddling all too evident. In fact, some particularly militant users have claimed that the fact that he couldn't even get a hit with a Roddy Rich and Cole Bennett stimulus is a sign that there's a ceiling on his potential. Here, we're going to break down exactly why Corday has sparked such anger among certain sections of hip-hop, and more importantly, pinpoint what it'll take for him to overturn this almost hostile indifference that he's facing. From out the gate, Corday presented himself as a student of the game that didn't fixate on one particular time period, but analyzed everything in order to take what worked best for him. But we have this like really cool thing called YouTube and the recommended section. So that's kind of how I got into hip hop. YouTube recommended section, you can get lost in there. Eminem, Big L, Nas, J, those the goats right there. Those like my top three. After honing his craft during his younger days under the name of Entendre, the teenage rapper's career will be given a new lease on life when he linked up with Namir and Almighty J to become the newest member of the YBN crew. Soon enough, 2018 became a breakout year for him off the back of his freestyle over Eminem's My Name Is and the headline-grabbing response to J. Cole's 1985 that followed. Seen as an insightful rapper that could bridge hip-hop's supposed generational gap, the newest member of the Los Santos form crew was quickly given platforms to tell his story, and from the outset, it was clear that he had big plans. Did you always feel like you had something special about you that was gonna allow you to be successful or even to, to be a rapper specifically? Yeah, I, yeah, bro, I always knew that, like, but I just wouldn't ever press the issue. I'm a real believer in like divine timing and like manifestations. So I just knew it was coming. Like, I guess from that leading on to this, just my, my plans now is just like to be the greatest ever. Launched into the world by his response to Cole, it's notable that Corday has yet to release a video that's exceeded the views of old But that didn't stop him from releasing his debut album, The Lost Boy, in July of 2019. Here, we can begin to chart where the now familiar sentiments around Corday began to pick up steam. Referred to as occasionally corny and self-serious by Pitchfork, they conceded that it was still an example of a star slowly finding his voice and bursting into the mainstream. While in the eyes of Anthony Fantano, he had this to say about Corday. All right, so I want to take a quick break to thank our friends at Keeps.com. For anyone that's endured a battle with thinning or receding hair, you know that it could be a real uphill battle. Even if it hasn't affected you as of yet, two out of three guys will experience some form of male pattern baldness by the time they're 35. But rather than waiting for that to happen, the best way to prevent that is by getting ahead of the problem. Keep specializes in doing exactly that, safeguarding the hair that you do have, and in some cases, promoting growth within the 100,000 men that have put their faith in the product. And in most cases, results will begin to surface within just six months of the treatment getting underway. In essence, Keeps is a subscription service that makes sure your hair stays intact. Delivered to your door every three months, they provide personalized, doctor-recommended treatments at half the price of pharmaceutical plans. And while you're spared the inconvenience of heading down to their office, every treatment plan comes with round-the-clock messaging with a doctor for one year. Simply put, hair loss doesn't have to be inevitable. Hair loss stops with Keeps. To get 50% off your first order, go to keeps.com HHM or click the link in the description. That's K-E-E-P-S dot HHM. All right, let's get back to the video. 
he's going to need to do something to come into his own a little bit more going forward because there are multiple points on this album where he is really, really, really wearing his influences on his sleeve, many of which sound to be very, very contemporary. There are moments on this project where Cordae doesn't sound too far off stylistically from some very early Kendrick. The track Bad Idea featuring Chance the Rapper sounds pretty much just like a Chance the Rapper song featuring YBN Cordae. I think this thing is a pretty solid debut. It has a lot of very good things going for it, and in a way at this point in his career, Corday does remind me of the promise and the talent that Logic was showing this early on. However, I would put money on Corday going down not nearly as corny or uh, as disappointing a path as Logic has over the course of his career. While Anthony held out hope for Corday finding his own identity, it's clear that some people don't share Anthony's optimism. And when you consider that one of the album's lead singles featured Chance and his first big tour came as a support act for Logic, it's safe to say that the artist that he aligned himself with may have caused some fans to subliminally view Corday in the same unfavorable light. Left without a concrete sense of what he brought to the table, the issue of who he associated himself with was only compounded when the cosigns for Corday started flying in. Because in the eyes of many fans, they weren't yet earned, which led them to speculate that maybe he might even be a dreaded industry plant. Endorsed by everyone from Eminem to Dre to Cole, Pusha T and Drake, Corday was receiving universal praise by artists from across hip hop. And by the time that he was crafting his 2021 EP, Justin Till, Corday was adding more of hip hop's most esteemed figures to his gallery of supporters. Throughout this quarantine, Q-Tip has been one of my mentors, he told XXL in July. And Young Thug is really the same way. We got a couple of other joints together, but a lot of times, we just be in the studio just kicking it and chopping it up. It's always real love. Good song, bro. Thug is really my homie. Seemingly armed with the whole hip-hop establishment behind him, this would generally be seen as a positive. But given that he was still an unproven commodity, who was more used to receiving comparisons to other MCs than he was being praised for his originality, the expectation that he should be something more almost hindered more than it helped. Team that with his affiliation to MCs on whom public opinion was souring, such as Logic and Chance the Rapper, who he later admitted that he would call for advice, and suddenly, a gap emerged between who Corday was and the artist his contacts would suggest him to be. After all, Hip-hop is a contrarian culture, meaning that when everyone shoves something down its throat, its first response is to often throw it out. And when you consider that so many of the MCs that were backing him had cut their teeth in a different era, it was seen by some fans as confirmation that Corday's music and message isn't necessarily resonating with the youth who, in modern times, are hip-hop's primary consumers. While his sudden embrace by the hip-hop status quo already raised a few eyebrows, the news that he was leaving Almighty J and Namir in the dust only intensified the online backlash. As by doing so, it created the YBN Namir sponsored narrative that he'd left his crew behind at the first sign of better opportunities. In an interview with Genius, Corday discussed the blows that he took by stepping away from the clique that helped him make his name. I remember mean, when I dropped YBN, it wasn't a popular thing at the time. You know, I was getting killed online. And I got tough skin, like, this is just what come with the game. You know, I don't be tripping off anything. Obviously, it go without saying, there ain't nothing against Namir and Jay. Like, you know, before I you know, came to the conclusion that, you know, I was gonna drop the three letters. I, I called Namir and I asked for his blessing. You know, that was what was most important to me. I didn't care what anybody else thinking. Later down the line, Namir owned up to his part in smearing Corday's name and admitted that his feelings had gotten in the way of the real story. I put it on the internet. That's where it f***ed up at when you put it on the internet, it, it, it ruined the whole image of everything. Yeah. But, um, yeah, at the end of the day, we all brothers. Despite weathering all the strikes against him, Corday has still found himself in an uphill battle in terms of proving to the public that each charge against him, ranging from a lack of originality to disloyalty, has no basis in reality. Wherever possible, it seems like he's doing whatever he can to prove that he has good intentions not only for hip-hop, but for the world at large. From getting arrested at a BLM protest, to heading out to Harvard to talk to students about his journey, Corday hopes to uplift the world around him, rooting out injustice or inequality wherever he sees it. So much so that he even linked up with Disney to provide HBCU scholarships to those in underprivileged communities. Young people are the future of our society and the world, Corday said during his announcement. So we must do all we can to ensure that they are properly positioned to succeed. If I could spark the brain of a few future world leaders and geniuses, I'll die a happy man. A commendable viewpoint to take on the world, Corday counterbalances his dreams of a better society with plans to enter the ranks of the greatest to ever pick up the mic, telling XXL that, I have to go into the hip-hop hall of fame. I would love to have an EGOT. I want to be the biggest, most influential artist. That's my ultimate goal. The next artist in 2035 is going to say Corday inspired him. 
Once again, Corday finds himself struggling to keep up with the expectation as while he is delivering on helping the next generation, he hasn't really provided anything to the world of hip hop that would support his case for being seen as influential in a musical sense. And while his philanthropic work is to be admired, it is no match for an album that truly shakes the culture. Nor is it a persona that fans of the modern generation, rightly or wrongly, are known to really get behind. In many ways, Corday is and should be aspirational. The owner of his own label that is 100% his, just at 25, the MC has secured his future in a way that rappers that are way more successful than him didn't have the foresight to. But while this is something that older heads would point to as an example of how to conduct yourself, the way that he puts it across has left him seen as a sensible man in an era of recklessness. Ah, them dunks was like four bands? Man, you can take them joints off. That's like an 05 Honda for real. From discussing how he used his first deal to get his brother out of jail on The Parables, to ruling out the possibility of getting tattoos as he didn't want to get something permanent on my body and I'm like a completely different person five years from now, Corday is the polar opposite of the rappers that dominate both the charts and the youth culture today. And while this may be a drawback in terms of his overall upside potential, it's something that Corday should be mindful of. Rather than making concessions to them in the name of mass appeal or trying to do too many things at once as he did on The Lost Boy, he should simply focus on being the best version of himself available. After all, this is a man that told academics that he uses the skepticism of those who say he hasn't proven himself or that he's corny as fuel to his fire. I always try to see things from the other perspective, you know? So I'm like, man, I can't even be mad at for that. It just adds battery to my backs, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I love this music, bro. I love this. I'm a psycho about this. When I'm already, like, in there at four in the morning, like, nah, we ain't here till the sun come up. So uh, I appreciate it for sure. Whether or not he'll ever find the sound that distinguishes himself from everyone else and give him the chance to become the Hall of Famer that he wants to be, the fact remains that for now, the perception of what he should be, based on not only his own proclamations but the caliber of artists that co-sign him, remains incompatible with what Corday actually is at the moment. As while both his talents and business brains are clear to see, what many fans are still waiting for is that thing which makes him special and validates the buzz that he's received. Considering that he's aiming for a 20-year career minimum, it looks like all of his haters may have to get used to Corday's presence in the game. And should he find that defining characteristic that sets him apart, there's every chance that he might be able to convert them and avoid being seen as another logic or chance. But he really, really can't leave it too late.